I'm welcoming you into another lesson where we are having a protective equipment, the B-suit and its components. Uh, mind you, when you're a beekeeper, without a B-suit, you are not a beekeeper. Because it means you, you're sighting your hives and you're waiting maybe to go and steal or to rob. But you have to work with your bees or you have to be a supervisor of your bees. It means when you have a bee suit, you're able to go and check and supervise your bees what they are doing. Not only, some people call it a harvesting suit, no. It is a protective bee suit. You put it on when you need to do anything in the hive. Maybe you have to check uh, for pests if they're in the hive. You want to see brood uh, development. You want to check on uh, comb construction. You want to check on if there is honey. You're going to harvest propolis. You don't go without a bee suit because bees will sting you. Now, the bee suit is a, a khaki material. Of course, khaki has two threads. It is not one thread. The sting of bees is two lobed. So that's why the khaki has two threads. When the bee tries to sting you, it opens up the bulbs. So the bulbs will not enter here. So it has to be oversized. Then, uh, because when it is fitting, the bees will sting through. Then you need elastic hands and also elastic uh, legs to stop the bees from crawling inside. It has the pockets, the bee suit pockets. You can put your matchbox here in case you need it or your smoker will go off. I will introduce a smoker later. So in the pocket, you can have several things. You might be a researcher or you want to note something. So you can take your papers and they, they are fixed in the what? In the pocket. You can even fix a pen. I don't know if I moved with one, yes. You can fix your pen. Then you also have another pocket here. This is a hive tool pocket. This is the hive tool, we shall explain. It is always here. Then you have extra pockets for people with cameras, with notebooks, anything you think is important in the apiary. So it is a veil and overall this is a black net. It helps you to view. Because when you're in darkness, you can see in light. So that's why we have darkness here. We want to see in the beehive. But the net helps you to view in the hive, but also protects the eyes and the head parts. So we have a zip in the neck, which you tie around. Then you also bring this long zip up. So you are already inside. I'll demonstrate how we dress in. Then you have big gloves, the rubber big gloves. They are plastic in some cases. Because of this nature, the sting will not go through. It will just slide on the plastic. But if you have gloves that are made of a cloth or leather, you will kill very many bees because the stings will always enter into. But here, you work gently as uh, you continue with your activities and the stings will be sliding off. You will not be killing very many bees and you will not feel the sting in here. So the gloves should also have elasticated hands. Then we have a bee smoker. Why we use a bee smoker in bees? Because bees mostly communicate using pheromones. Different smells eh, are detected and bees take response. So when you're using uh, a bee smoker, we, we have used uh, dry cow dung. This one brings white shoot, smoke which is in white shoot, as you can try to see. But also grass which has dried and remained green. It will give you nice shoot which is not blue. Blue smoke is bad, it is hot, but this, this white shoot here, it is very good, it is cool. So why we use it? 
to disorganize the communication. <laughs> when you smoke here, like this, in the hive, you disorganize the pheromone produced by the queen and you continue working. As in, the signals will not be very well transferred from one bee to the other to take action. So that's why we keep smoking, but working gently. So when you're a beekeeper, these are the principal tools you need. You need a bee suit, you need the bee gloves, you need a bee smoker, and a hive tool. This is a hive tool. You can call it the spanner of the hive, or the master key of the hive. Without it, you can do less, because it helps you open the cover. Remember, the cover is propolized, fastened with the propolis, and then you can lift. Then it can cut hard pans of propolis using this side. If it is a long strength hive, this side helps you to lift the frame of the, of the long strength beehive. So this tool is as well important. So I want to demonstrate how we put on a bee suit. So I'm going to dress up smartly. Then we shall go into you can first fit in the right leg gently without damaging the bee suit then the left then you can try the right hand you can see the rubber i mean the plastic here elastic is helping you to stop the bees from crawling you can see it is not fitting it is oversized we don't want the bees to sting you then you pull up this zip up to half then you have the cape round cape hat which is having uh, the zips you see i'm getting protected There is a zip here, I'm trying to look for. So you do it, even this side. So I want to show you some parts here. You have to fasten this part. So you bring the zip from down up to the end, up. Then you bring the side zips also here. You pull gently, so you fasten these tie straps here. Okay, now I'm inside. So you come back to the gum boots. You put on the gum boots. You can fit them inside like this, or you can prefer putting them outside. But this one is so tight, the elastic is tight, so. They are inside. When you try to force the overall outside, the elastic will be broken. So we are getting set. So what is remaining is putting on the B gloves. So they are, as I explained, they are also elasticated at the end. At any time we are avoiding the bees to enter, here I have closed, down is closed. Then also here. Now, I want to also put on the B glove. So you, you raise your thumb and try to fix it here. So that when you're trying to put in the, the, uh, the B glove, it doesn't remain out. So when you reach around here, you release the thumb and then the hand of the suit remains inside. So you dress in very well, you see here, it's elastic, so it cannot allow any bee enter. The same way, you raise your thumb a little bit, hold the suit, and then you put on the big glove. Reach here in the middle, release, and then you pull. So you're good to go in the apiary. So I told you the hive tool. The pocket is right here. Matchbox is here in case our bee smoker goes off. It is here. So you have more of the lighting material, excess. You have more fuel, the grass and the cow dung. So you have to lift them and go to the apiary 
and do your planned activity. As you smoke yourself to get engrossed into the smoke because the bee suit may have a different smell which will attract the bees to sting you. So you smoke yourself as you go to work into the apiary to do your planned activity.